So if you don't know me, I started running in the pandemic. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really run before that. I was always sporty, but I never really ran. Um, so to be running 100 kilometer weeks right now is pretty surreal. We did it, we finally started a YouTube channel about time. If you've come over from Instagram, thank you so much for following over there. And if you're new here, let's get some of the formalities out of the way. My name is Carl, I'm a runner, I'm a marathon coach, and I'm the founder of Stride and Glory, a marathon coaching business, and I'm a finance professional. I'm a chartered accountant and I work for the London Marathon. I work for their charitable arm and I help them pay out grant funding to projects up and down the UK that inspire activity. I have the best job in the world. I get to work with the best people in the world. I'm so excited to share this journey with you all. And you've joined at a really exciting time because I'm currently deep within the peak training block for the Pisa Marathon on December 17th. This will be my third marathon this year. And I'm currently running 90 to 100, 110 kilometers per week. So I'm in the thick of it. So lots of action and excitement to bring you up to speed on. So right now my week looks like uh, Monday, I'm doing a interval training session or tempo and that's typically around eight to 10 miles. Tuesday, I'll have an easy run, that's around 11 miles. Uh, Wednesday will be a rest day, uh, all strength training. I have to admit that although I'm scheduled strength training, it is one of those things which is probably falling by the wayside a little bit. Um, but we're still managing to get at least one session in a week. Thursday will be tempo. That'll be around 11 miles or a half marathon if I'm pushing up the distance or if my week has meant that I need to rearrange my miles a little bit. Friday will always be a recovery run that will range from perhaps five to 10 miles. And then Saturday will be my long run. Right now I'm running 30 kilometers plus a week on a Saturday. And then Sunday will be recovery, easy miles, around 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers or so. So I'm coming in at around 100 kilometers each week and my fitness is just going through the roof. It's going from strength to strength. And that's because I've had a huge focus on building my base level fitness, which this year has been really difficult, admittedly. I've had quite a few stressful uh, periods this year with work um, and dedicating a, and dedicating a lot of hours to work to the detriment of my training. So I was really, really keen to finish this year off strong with a solid result where I've really focused on my sleep, I've really focused on my eating, and I've just really tried to dial in and control all of the factors that are within my control in order to perform properly. Uh, I've stopped drinking for this marathon and I'm really focusing and I'm really seeing the benefits. So I'm looking forward to going to Pisa. Uh, Coach Phil, who works with me on the Stride and Glory coaching team, he's gonna be coming with me, he's gonna be my support man. He's gonna be shouting out the paces as I run past him at specific spots along the marathon. So I'm really excited that he's coming with me and that's gonna be really motivational for me when I'm running the marathon. But to be honest, this year has been such a wild year professionally. I've gained so much experience uh, and I focused a lot on my weight training as well. So I've gained a decent amount of muscle mass, which I'm really happy with. So I've really dedicated a lot of time to things outside of running and running has kind of been put on maintenance this year. Um, and now I'm turning it around towards the end of the year. So try not to put that pressure on myself, but I know this is going to set a fantastic base uh, and a foundation going into 2024 where I'm really excited for what I'm gonna be achieving come spring 2024 at an increased body weight due to the muscle mass that I've gained. I'm currently around 90 kg, five foot 10. This is the heaviest I've ever been. Uh, back when I was running at my fastest, I was 79 kg. So I've put on a considerable amount of muscle mass and weight. So it's been quite challenging to perform um, and be fast at this new weight. It can definitely be done, it is being done, but you have to kind of retrain your body and your body does take quite some time to adapt, especially if you're running at a heavier weight than what you might be previously used to because you kind of mentally benchmark yourself against where you know you were before. And if you are not there um, currently, Although that's fine, you can operate at a heavier body weight and you just have to work harder in order to shift the additional weight faster. So really excited for what's gonna happen come Pisa Marathon and then springboard off of that into 2024. 
So the shoes that I'm wearing and have been training in, I'm gonna be running in Pisa Marathon, have been the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percents. That is a mouthful. And this week is a devastating week because they have died. They have died. As you can see, love these shoes. I've run a countless number of miles in these shoes, but if you can see that, the sole is going and I am noticing my right foot is getting a little bit uncomfortable um, when I'm pushing these higher mileage weeks. So that's definitely time to get a new pair. The last thing I want is injury right now. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about getting a new pair of these because I want to make sure that they fit as well as I can, but I still got a few weeks, a month or so till Pisa so I can break them in and um, hopefully they are just as smooth and good as these babies. But they have been discontinued by Nike so I'm going to have to get them outside. So I'm going to have to get them from another retailer. But um, yeah, best running shoe for racing I've ever worn. So if you don't know me, I started running in the pandemic. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really run before that. I was always sporty, but I never really ran. Um, so to be running 100 kilometer weeks right now is pretty surreal for me. It's, it's something that I've never done before. I've, I've, never, I've, I've never pushed myself to run this far of a week consistently. I'm noticing some insane adaptions. My recovery time is just unbelievable. Like yesterday I ran 30K and to be honest with you, I felt absolutely fine afterwards. I could have kept running and I could have gone out for another run if I had to the same day. It's just mental how your body adapts and how you apply these, and, and your perception of what you can do is based on what you've done previously, but actually what you can do in the future with the work that you can put in is just so far better than what you've ever done. It's absolutely mental. So I'm so proud of how my body is adapting, um, but I am eating a lot. I'm really focusing on all those factors, sleep, mood, stress management, and it's really starting to pay off. So I'm not one of those people who's ever been naturally good at anything. I've always had to work hard. Running does not come naturally to me, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much because I, I find it mentally and physically really challenging. And I know that of a day, it's just such an easy way for me to push myself and to feel really proud of the effort that I'm putting in. It, for me, running is one of those things I like doing for me. I do it to really put myself into a challenging situation. I don't tend to run with too many people unless it's some of the athletes from my coaching program. So yeah, just all in the name of really seeing what I can do and I'm absolutely loving the progress right now. So to round off this video, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching this. Again, I'm so sorry that it's taken me this long to get into YouTube. I've got some really exciting videos that I want to create. Um, I'm just gonna use this space to uh, tell you what I'm doing, how I'm living my life, how I'm training, how I'm seeing results. And if it inspires you, then that'd be amazing. Please, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm always happy to help. And again, just thank you for tuning in. If you, if you like this video and if you're excited for what's to come, please do subscribe, please do share these videos. It will help me out enormously in spreading the word. But otherwise, keep striding and I'll see you in the next one.